Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. In this video, I'm going to show you a secure score for Office 365, an overview of Microsoft Secure Score. So to access Secure Score, all you have to do is just go into Microsoft Score. I'm sorry, um, Secure Score. Microsoft. Dot com. I'm going to close it out. Just going to type in. Make sure you log in already to your Office 365 portal, and just type in Secure Score. So I have it in the cache mode here. Just click Enter or hit Enter. So here's the Secure Score. Um, based on your tenant. It doesn't matter if you have E3 or E5 licenses. Um, your score, the current score I have right now is 139 out of 707. 707 is, uh, is the maximum that I can have based on the features that are available for me here. So in order for me to get to 707, I have to enable all these features. Let me scroll it up. So right now, if I the target score is 477. And if I want to reach 477, I have to do complete this 32 actions items. I'm going to click on that. Here's the 32 action items that I have to complete. For example, require MFA for Azure AD privileges. If I click on that, it's give me a 50 points if I enable this. And here it's talk about password cracking. Fed RAM, moderate control, GDPR control all these informations um, and it's also account breach elevated privilege privilege and if i want to know info, inf more information about it I just click on learn more and if i click on launch now it's going to take me to um to how to activate this um Azure AD privilege. And if I have a third party MFA, I just click on third party. If you have a third party MFA, you can label that here or enter that information here. It will give you 50 points. And you could choose to ignore it. Just say if I choose to ignore this one. Let me see. So it's the score is 139. And if I choose to ignore this, test, click on save, done. So it moved 50 points uh, from 707, now it's 657. And, um, so if I want to increase the max the uh, target score, I can just move this bar here. I can move, just move back and forth. If I move all the way to the end, I have six hundred. I have sixty-two actions to remediate. It's really simple to enable it. Um, you just click on it. And it gives you how to um, information how to enable it. And on the left side, I'm sorry, it's on the right side. So here's my current score. Office 365 seat size average score. So this is based on number of seats compared to my tenant. 
please select industry type and you can select your industry industry type if you are healthcare or bank you can choose that and it's compare against the other customers office 365 average score so the score is pretty low here so with a secure score you don't really need to um, you you don't really need to hire a third party to add to audit your office 365 uh, infrastructure and under score analyzer you can see the trends here it shows from April to May so on May the 1st it was 150 points and then it went down 10 points 240 and it tells you why here um, Action score device. Here's all the items are completed. So require MFA for all users. Right now, I have one user enable. Not one user, but um, yes, I do have one users. So I got one point. 34 out of 36 user account that don't have uh, that don't use MFA so I got two users have MFA so this one turn on audit data recordings so I got 15 points all right so incomplete actions here all the items that are not completed and ignore actions this is when I chose to ignore it on the um, the previous page so now it has an ignore actions if I want to go click on it and I want to undo the action click on save it will remove Go back to under so the ignore tab is gone now and if I go back to the the dashboard it's gonna get me back 707 so that's it that's that's the overview of Microsoft secure score in office 365 thank you for watching and have a good day